everyone, and welcome to another exciting edition of Box Bricks with Bricks. Today, we are yet again back to 1972. That is 2009-10 ITG 1972, the year in hockey. It is a fantastic product dedicated entirely to remembering a great year in hockey for both Canadian hockey as well as the NHL. Um, each box, I believe, has anywhere from three to four autographs plus one, at least one memorabilia hit. Uh, previous editions of this have been very fun, have yielded some pretty cool hits, but of course we're always hoping to top our previous best. As usual, our Urbe Bobblehead of Judgment is eagerly awaiting the box break, and I am excited to open it up for all of you here today, my friends. Without further ado, let's get ready for box breaking. Alright, so there's 18 packs per box. We'll see how fast we can get through some of the um, base cards. We'll pick aside any autograph cards and memorabilia, leave them to last. As there are a bunch of autographs, if I have an autograph in a certain stack, I'll, if I have, say, two, I'll do one of them at the end of a stack, just to kind of not make all of the excitement for the very, very end of the break. ITG, before they sold their name to Leaf, still remains one of my favorite companies. Herbe Bobblehead of Judgment has its throne right here. Very nice, very cool. Let's get started, my friends. All right. All right, right off the bat, we've got a memorabilia. So, we're going to move on to the next. Okay, we don't have memorabilia in here. Okay, we have Vic Hadfield, Jim Lawrence, Gary Edwards, Eddie Johnson. We have Point, can't be used now except for shipping. Summit Series MVP, Vladislav Tretiak, very nice. Val Fontaine, Stan Mikita, and Rick Smith. So some people get really offended when I mispronounce a name by accident. There is a one name I mispronounced in one of my box breaks there, and then they called me a bigot because I mispronounced it. I love the world we live in and the anonymity of the internet. Got an autograph. <laughs> I didn't know that uh, mispronouncing a name makes a person a bigot, but I guess that's the case. Then it was Tom Lysiak, I think was the name. So uh, Jacques Plante, Gary Unger, Ed Westfall. Red Berenson, point. Ken Brown, with his little cat mask. Bill Goldsworthy, Wayne Rutledge, and Vizevalod Bobrov. Very nice. Okay. So memorabilia card is the very first of the break, but as I said, we leave that to the very end. Uh, Jack Eggers, Jerry Desjardins, Danny Grant, Don Liver, point. Gilbert Perrault, Bob Sosinski, Game 8, Moskwa, Paul Henderson versus Alexander Yakushev, and the Rick Lee. And, it's nice to remember these older names. I've commented on every other edition of the video where it blows my mind how some of these guys are so young, yet look so old in their pictures. Uh, Rick McLeish. See, 1972, he was 22 years old. It looks like he's in his early 40s nowadays. Uh, Michel Plasse, first goalie to be drafted first overall in the NHL draft, even before DiPietro. Joey Johnson, Tom Johnson, point. Alexander Maltsev, Poul Pupil, Harry Sinden, and Larry Plou. All right, how about we take care of the first autograph for you guys here today? We'll get to the very back of the stack so we don't spoil the fun. Where are you? Okay. Cool. Okay, so we start off with our point, which we don't really care about. Bobby Hull, Vladimir Petrov, Jim McLeod, Summit Series MVP, Paul Henderson, Walt Kachuk, Rick Martin, and Rogi Vachon, and we have autograph of Norm Ferguson. Norm Ferguson autograph. Interesting little signature. You can fully identify what their names are in the good old days of signatures. Norm Ferguson. Very cool. Urbe's verdict. Ah, it's all right. We certainly hope for bigger names, but Norm Ferguson is a nice esoteric name you don't see or hear too much of nowadays, so in that way I think it's pretty cool. 
Brian Hextall, yes, related to Ron Hextall, Gary Dornhofer, Larry Robinson, Stan Weir, Point, Rosea Paymont, King Richard Brodeur, Don Ari, and Pete Movlich. Of course, you're asking yourself, why do I keep flipping them around? Um, there's blank backs inserted into boxes as well. So this way I don't have to look back through them again and I can see if they're in there or not. And those are usually substitutes for regular non-memorabilia autograph inserts. Uh, Rod Gilbert, Juba Perrault, Serge Bernier, Dallas Smith, Point. Larry Lund, Alexander Yakushev, Tom Webster, and Bob McMillan. It'd be nice to get more than one memorabilia hit per box. Of course, these are always wishes that don't always come true. Uh, Don Ari, Noel Picard, Brian Glennie, Gump Worsley, Rogi Vachon, as you can see, we have a blank back right here. Those are limited to, I can't remember how many copies I'll update it, but yeah, we have a blank back of Rogi Vachon. Point, Jerry Odrowski, Mike Curran, and Brad Park. Irvay's verdict on the Vachon. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. He's a decent name, one of the top goalies of the 1970s. I'll happily take if I need a blank back of Rogi Vachon versus someone like, say, Mike Antonovich. Okay, Dave Schultz, Terry O'Reilly, Gary Sabarin, Paul Henderson, Red Kelly, as a coach, no less, Vladimir Shadrin, Bart Crashley, and Mike Antonovich. Another cool card that can be found in here, I've mentioned in previous editions of the break, is a Dr. Brian Price um, card. He's, of course, the president of ITG, and they card of his made it out into the rotation, so it's pretty pretty cool, but not very common. Uh, J.P. Parise, Eddie Schack, Frank Moblich, Serge Savard, J.P. Parise, Game 2, Tony Esposito and Vladislav Tretiak, J.C. Tremblay, and Red Berenson. Okay, we got another autograph. Let's Let's do it, my friends. Let's get this to the front. Perfect. Okay, Frank Movlich, Ted Taylor, Bill White, Walt McKechnie, Gilles Villemer, Rene Robert. Get rid of the point here. Yes, my computer just turned itself on. Cool, all right. Uh, Doug Favell, and we have Joe Daly. Joe Daly. Very cool. He owns a hobby shop in uh, Manitoba now, but he was a, quite a good goalie for back in the day, early Winnipeg Jets, WHA era. Very cool. <laughs> Always like to get a cool goalie hit. Urbe's verdict. Yeah, it's all right. Um, Value-wise, it's not the highest, but I, I still like it, which gives it the all right ranking in my books. Okay, on to our final stack. And then we'll end it off with our memorabilia hit for the very end. Ron Ellis, Tony Esposito, Cesar Maniago, Ivan Cournoyer, Gary Venerutzo, Ted Hampson, Jack Norris, and Game 3, Paul Henderson and Vladislav Tretiak. Arguably the best goalie to never play in the NHL. Okay, Roger Crozier. Denis Heron, Billy Smith, Roy Edwards, very goalie pack, Les Binkley, Gary Bergman, Guy Lepointe, and Gord Lebossier. Got autograph. Let's see if we have any more in this stack. No. Nope. Okay. We'll save that to the end of the stack here, unless we got another one, then we're good. Nick Libet, Joe Watson. Wayne Cashman, Phil Meyer, Wayne Cashman again, but with Team Canada, Valerie Karlamov, Andre Lacroix, and Valerie Vasiliev, Alex Del Vecchio, Bill Barber, Ken Hodge, Dan Bouchard, Ron Ward, 
have Game 5, Vladimir Petrov and Tony Esposito, Wayne Carlton, and Bobby Clark. All right. Norm Ullman, Pat Stapleton, Sil Apps Jr., Guy Lefleur, Dennis Hull, Bernie Perron, Vladislav Trechak, and Alton White. All right, let's hammer out our final autograph, and then we'll move on to our memorabilia for the very, very end. Okay, we'll get this guy here, free up the point, good, all right. We have Jerry Pinder, Bill Hick, or Hickey. Game four, Boris Mikhailov and Phil Esposito. Gilles Graton, Gratuni de Luni, Jim Schoenfeld, Harry Howell, Bob Nystrom, and an autograph of Rosier Paymont. Rosier Paymont. He's a name that's familiar. Not exactly a superstar, though. But still, her base verdict. It's all right. Again, I'm not dancing over it, but just the selection of names in this product are so interesting. You really can't say, oh, it's a bad hit. All right, moment of truth, memorabilia. Okay, so we'll free this up here. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Jim Dory. Joe Daly. Alexander Ragulin. Larry Mavetti. Dunk Wilson. Bobby Clark. Steve Shutt. Gilles Meloche. And. Suspense. Oh, uh, uh, suspense. Jersey Black of Daryl Sittler. Toronto Maple Leafs. Ah. <sighs> We've yet to be impressed by any of the memorabilia in any of our breaks of this so far. Bruce Bay's verdict on the memorabilia hit. Not a bad name, but such a plain swatch. Unfortunately, that didn't deliver the goods. All right. Bay's verdict on our box of ITG 1972. Ah, he says it's all right. Could have been a lot better. It could have been worse. I'd very middling, that's all I can say about that. I'm glad you all came in to watch this exciting edition of Box Breaks with Bruce. Until next time, have yourselves an excellent day. Bye-bye.